In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Ngayong araw na ito ay First Friday at saka kapistahan ng Transfiguration of Our Lord. Prepare ourselves, celebrate the sacred mysteries. Let us call to mind our sins. Be truly sorry for them. I confess, Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God of mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, for in the glorious transfiguration of your only begotten Son, confirm the mysteries of faith by the witness of the fathers, and wonderfully prefigured our full adoption to sonship. Grant, we pray, to your servants that listening to the voice of your beloved Son, we may merit to become co-heirs with him, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. As I watch, thrones were set up, and the Ancient One took his throne. His clothing was bright as snow, and the hair on his head as white as wool. His throne was flames of fire, with wheels of burning fire. A surging stream of fire flowed out from where he sat. Thousands upon thousands were ministering to him, and myriads upon myriads attended him. The court was convened and the books were opened. As the visions during the night continued, I saw one like a son of man coming on the clouds of heaven when he reached the ancient one and was presented before him. The one like a son of man received dominion, glory, and kingship. All peoples, nations, and languages serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion that shall not be taken away. His kingship shall not be destroyed. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is king, the most high over all the earth. The Lord is king, the most high over all the earth. The Lord is King, let the earth rejoice, let the many islands be glad. Clouds and darkness are round about him. Justice and judgment are the foundation of his throne. The Lord is King, the Most High over all the earth. The mountains may melt like wax before the Lord, before the Lord of all the earth. The heavens proclaim his justice and all peoples see his glory. The Lord is King, the Most High over all the earth. Because you, O Lord, are the Most High over all the earth, 
exalted far above all gods. The Lord is King, the Most High, over all the earth. A reading from the second letter of St. Peter. Beloved, we did not follow cleverly devised meats when we made known to you the power and coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, but we had been eyewitnesses of his majesty. For he received honor and glory from God the Father when that unique declaration came to him from the majestic glory. This is my son, my beloved, with whom I am well pleased. We observe, we ourselves heard this voice come from heaven while we were with him on the holy mountain. Moreover, we possess the prophetic message that is altogether reliable. You will do well to be attentive to it as to a lamp shining in a dark place until day dawns and the morning star rises in your hearts. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. This is my beloved son, with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus took Peter, James, and his brother, John, led him up on a high mountain apart from by themselves, and he was transfigured before them, and his clothes became dazzling white, such as no fuller on earth could bleach them. Then Elijah appeared to them along with Moses, and they were conversing with Jesus. Then Peter said to Jesus in reply, Rabbi, it is good that we are here. Let us make three tents, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. He hardly knew what to say, and they were so terrified. Then a cloud came, casting a shadow over them. From the cloud came a voice, This is my beloved son. Listen to him. Suddenly, looking around, they no longer saw anyone but Jesus with them. As they were coming down the mountain, he charged them not to relate what they had seen to anyone, except when the Son of Man had risen from the dead. So they kept the matter to themselves, questioning what rising from the dead meant. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. So magandang umaga po ulit sa inyong lahat. Kapistahan ng Transfiguration ngayon, at saka First Friday. Anong ibig sabihin ng Transfiguration? Meron tayong tahanan sa kabilang buhay. This world where we are in is not our home. Hindi ito ang buhay natin. Pag pansamantala lang tayo dito, maya't maya tatawagin tayo para pumunta sa tunay na buhay, buhay na ayos natin. Later on, it will come. So isang bagay sa bandang huli ng gospel ngayon, isipin natin na maigsi ang buhay. At maya't maya, tatawagin tayo. 
Pero ang kulturang Pilipino, dinadaya tayo niyan. Matagal pa, matagal pa. Eh, siyempre, walang nakakalam kung kailan. Pero ang importante ay darating. Hindi natin alam. So, death is a reality. Lahat tayo po ay mamamatay. Kaya, yung ating hinanakit sa iba, huwag natin patagalin yan. Pipikit din sila. Pipikit din tayo. E bakit tayo magsasayang ng kaluluwa natin? Pangalawang punto, ang sabi ni Mark sa gospel niya, Listen to him. Pakinggan niyo ang Panginoon. Pag tayo'y nagsisimba, iwanan natin lahat sa bahay ang ating mga pag-aabala. We are worried about many things. And very often, all these things are useless. Hindi natin nadalhin sa kabaong. Meron na ba kayong nakita na inilibing sa kabaong silipin nyo? Na maraming dala, yung mga gamit niya, yung mga bag niya, yung mga sapatos niya? Wala. Pinanganak tayong hubad. Tayo'y babalik sa Panginoon na hubad. So let us not be materialistic. Huwag tayong materyoso. Nabubulok yan, kagaya natin. Nabubulok ang ating katawan. Nabubulok ang ating mga gamit. Lahat ng material ay nabubulok. Ang hindi lang nabubulok ay ang spirito. Kaya dapat inaalagaan natin ang ating kaluluwa. Naglilinis tayo ng kaluluwa. First Friday ngayon, parang palala. Tuwing buwan, may first Friday, palala. Mangumpisal ka. Eh bakit nakakalimutan natin ang mangumpisal? Dumadaan ng mga taon na hindi tayo nangumpisal. Sabi ng demonyo sa atin, wala yan. Maliit na bagay yan. Lahat ng bagay, lahat ng masasama, nag-uumpisa sa maliliit. Pag hindi tayo mag-iingat, lumalaki yan. At paglaki, hindi na natin kayang Sagutin. We all stand for the prayers of the faithful. In the transfiguration, Father revealed the glory of His Son. We do not see His glory now, that as we wait for the kingdom, we pray in His name to the Father. Sagot po natin, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer, that the glory of Christ may shine through the church as we faithfully listen to him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the beloved Son may lead the nations into the paths of peace and justice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may grow in grace that others may see the light of Jesus in our lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That people who suffer may see their future in the transfigured Redeemer. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may be transfigured in the likeness of Christ's glorious body. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We now pray for all others na nakalimutan magdasal, nakalimutan magsimba, at nakalimutan mangumpisal. 
gawa ng pinaniwalaan ng demonyo nila na sila'y malinis. Lord God, it's wonderful for us to be here. Receive the prayers of this community assembled to hear your words to offer the sacrifice of your Son who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Sanctify, O Lord, we pray these offerings here made to celebrate the glorious transfiguration of your only begotten Son, and by his radiant splendor, cleanse us from the stains of sin, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for he revealed his glory in the presence of chosen witnesses filled with the greatest splendor, the bodily form which he shares with all humanity, that the scandal of the cross might be removed from the hearts of his disciples, that he might show how in the body of the Holy Church is to be fulfilled, and what so wonderfully shone forth first in its head, and so with the powers of heaven we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty. Without end, we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jew fall, so that they may become for us body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time was betrayed, entered willingly into his passion, took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. Similar way when supper was ended, took the chalice once more, giving thanks gave it his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, 
will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation. Giving thanks have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, to be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, his assistant, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Apostles, Saint Dominic and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. May praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let's now pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior taught us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we will be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to our apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer its other sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, 
grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to supper. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Please stand. Sanctify, O Lord, we pray, these offerings here made to celebrate the glorious transfiguration of your only begotten Son, and by his radiant splendor, cleanse us from the stains of sin through Christ our Lord. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong paggalo dito sa minor basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary Manawag. Sana ay sa pamamagitan ng malinis na konsyensya at ang inyong puso ay pwedeng tumanggap sa bibigay ng Panginoon at ng mahal na biren Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Blessing of the sick. God Almighty Father, by your blessing you give us strength, support, and our frailty. Turn with kindness towards our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from our illness, restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name, we ask this, O Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, the honor and glory of Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may all these religious articles be made holy, blessed. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless us all. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. We go in peace. Thanks be to God.